Uh, I think the AAAN in one word, I'll describe it as dedicated. Amazing. Adventurous. Amazing. Fulfilling. Unique. Creative. Educational. Awesome. Veti Ten. Family. Usra Kabira. The people from the community are the ones that will make a difference, the ones that will lead the movements that change their lives. What's unique about the Arab American Action Network is that we combine social services with advocacy and organizing. And we're one of the few organizations across the country that does that, and even fewer organizations in the country that target Arab Americans specifically and Muslim Americans specifically. Shabakat al Amal al Arabiya al Amerikiya, Muassasa Muhimma. وجدت في ظروف طارئة الحرب والاحتلال في وطننا العربي بقود للاعتداءات السياسية والتشريعية علينا هون في أمريكا عشان هيك من الواجب إن ننظم أنفسنا وندافع عن حقوقنا ضمن الجالية حتى نكون مؤثرين في التغيير ويكون صوتنا مسموع We're an urban organization We've been on 63rd and Kedzi for almost two decades the organization before us for over four decades um, and we've seen a lot of changes here. It used to be what we would call little Ramallah. We're identifying our issues that we want to work on and challenge not just based on how they affect the Arab community and the Muslim community but how they affect all oppressed communities. One of the program's strong points is that we have Latino, Arab, and African American youth. There's basically three parts to the youth program. Um, the biggest one is the after school program. We're here at Stevenson Elementary and we work with kids ages 6 through 13. And basically they come in, do their homework, we mentor them, we are positive role models to them, and we work hard on just building their self-esteem and leadership skills. I learn multiplication, division, like math concepts, reading concepts. I learned how to read better. I have constitution test coming up for social studies and they've been helping me study for it. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna pass it, which is a good thing. We do like art projects, like we write about our day and we like color, draw pictures. Sometimes Halima lets us go to the gym and play soccer with my friends. They do come in and they make friends, they talk. They see kids that they usually don't see because they're basically in one classroom. So when they do come down, they interact with other kids, which is a positive thing. Uh, almost the whole students here are my friends. I think it makes me a better person because I could be here learning more than being outside learning bad stuff. I've seen that those kids come in as six-year-olds and move on to high school and just building their self-confidence and their leadership abilities, that's a great thing. <laughs>
you can speak your mind, you can say what you want, you can, you know, talk about issues that other people are scared to talk about. I think one of the things, unfortunately, that many of our youth struggle with is understanding their parents' histories, understanding where their parents come from, especially that most of their parents are refugees and are immigrants to this country. They don't understand the sacrifices that their parents have made as people living in a country that's foreign to them, in a country that's hostile to Arabs and Muslims and to immigrants in general. You know, I'm Palestinian myself. And when I came here, I didn't like didn't know a lot about what was happening in Palestine. And so this is a space in which they learn to understand these issues and, and to learn to celebrate their, their Arab identities and to understand their parents and their histories and their sacrifices. من خلال لجنة المرأة اللي هي تقرب على ال 450 امرأة هلا صار عنا بنشتغل معهم في عنا المساعدات الاجتماعية مع البابليك ايد اللي احنا بنساعدهم في عنا التعليم اللغة الانجليزية كلغة ثانية هنا كمان تعليم عشان امتحان الجنسية وفي هناك نجاحات كثير كثير كبيرة بتعطينا ثقة وبتعطينا أمل بالاستمرار مع هدول 99% من الطلاب اللي بيجوا عندي على سيديسن شب على درس سيديسن بنجحوا الحمد لله ما كنتش أحكي ولا كلمة إنجليزي ولا كلمة إنجليزي كنت أحكي بعدين رحت قدمت للسيديسن وأخذت الجواز الأميركي عرفت أجاوب الأسئلة وعرفت كل إشي هلا المعلمة بتدرسنا كويس 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 بتدرسنا لها شهرين واستفدنا كتير كتير بشهرين عرفنا كل إشي كمان إحنا مش بس هدفنا نسا يتساعدوا أو يحصلوا على مساعدات اجتماعية إحنا أكثر بنهتم في المساعدات إنهم يتثقفوا يتعلموا يحاولوا يقللوا الهوة اللي هم عايشين فيها في هذا المجتمع صرت أحكي إنجليزي منيح وأكتب والحمد لله ممتاز يعني من هون لسنة إذا ببقى بهون بالمعهد بكون أخذت بصير بريزنتات <تصفيق> Precursor organization to the AAAN is over 40 years old. It was one of the main institutions in all of Chicagoland where new immigrants, Arab Americans, could come and socialize and read newspapers and magazines and have debates and discussions about what's happening in their home countries and in the United States and in Chicago. And it just it felt so great to have like a center to be able to like sit around with other Arabs and Muslims who, you know, want to talk about Palestine, want to talk about, you know, making the world a better place. Most of us call the Tripoli and the Merkaz. I'm so happy in school. I'm like, oh, Friday, we're going to the Merkaz. And Merkaz means center. The reason we're called the Merkaz is because we were, at one point, the center of, in the center of the Arab community. Um, that's no longer the case. We go out to the southwest suburbs, and there are dozens and hundreds more youth and immigrant women and children who um, will come into our space and into our center. We have a desire as the Arab American Action Network to return to the center of the community. One of the most significant moments for me was hearing one of our young women say, I was never proud to be Arab until I came to the AAAN. I was so ashamed of my culture until I came to the AAAN. We have the talent and the skills in this organization top to bottom, from the board of directors to every staff person here, to be able to help build some power for the Arab community in the southwest suburbs and across the city.